Hey there, Mercedes here from prettywebs.com and today I'm gonna to show you how to make a shiny diamond tile pattern inside of Photoshop. I'll show you how to make a quick text effect using this same pattern and I'll also show you how to make this pattern seamless. Later in the video, I'll show you how to get this free download so stick around to get that. And if you like this video, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Visit prettywebs.com for more design resources for your blog and business. Okay, we're gonna be starting off with our glitter base. I did a tutorial on how to create this glitter pattern step by step. If you want to make your own, you can go ahead and watch that video or you can download this one at prettywebs.com. I'll go ahead and leave a link for that in the comments. Okay, so our base color is going to be 004649 and our top color is going to be 002D29. And then we're going to go ahead and make some changes to the brightness. We're going to adjust this way down and bring it down to about there because we want this to be a darker pattern. Uh, we're looking for some nice rich colors. This is what we're going to work with. And I'm just going to right click and duplicate this group. Rasterize this command E to merge the group together. And with this pattern, by the way, I think I forgot to mention, but I am working in a 1000 by 1000 pixel document for um, this pattern in particular. So I have two of the base glitter sizes. I have a 500 pixel document and I have a 1000 pixel document. So this is the 1000 pixel document that I'm working in right now. So I'm gonna come up to filter, filter gallery, and we're gonna be using the distort filters glass and we're going to take our distortion all the way up to 20. our smoothness is going to be all the way up we're bumping everything up and then we're going to change our texture to tiny lens and we're going to bring our scaling up to 118 or so so we'll leave that at 118. Click OK. So now we've got our pattern. We're going to take this just a little bit further because we want to turn this into a repeating pattern and use it inside of a text effect. So we're going to come up to Filter, Other, Offset. Remember this is a 1000 pixel document so we're cutting it in half. So 500 pixels horizontal. 500 pixels vertical. Make sure wrap around is selected. So we're looking for seams in the texture. So we're going to zoom in. Not that much. Uh, but you, you can see the seam when you zoom in. You can see it right here and a little in this area here. So we're going to go over to the clone stamp tool. And I'm going to choose very small sections here. Um, I want to choose just one tile. So I'm going to hold down the option key on a Mac, alt key on a PC till I see that little target right there. And then I'm going to click with my mouse so I can grab that as a selection. And then I can use that to come over and just stamp um, tiles here just where you see uh, where the seams are most noticeable. Zoom in closer so that we can see this a little bit better. Okay, once we've got all the seams out, we can come over to edit define pattern we're going to call this one glitter tile okay so now we're going to use this pattern to make a text effect so let's go ahead and open up a new document and this document is going to be 1500 by 1500 and i've got my background and foreground colors here that i'm going to use my background color is 255155 and my foreground color is 52949E. So I'm just going to go ahead and set up my background. I'm going to use uh, this gradient tool and I'm going to use the foreground background. That's the first one in your presets. 
and I'm using the radial gradient. So I'm just going to find somewhere near the center and I'm going to pull it out to the edges. So this is just going to be a background for the text. Now I'm going to come in and type out the text. I'm just going to use the word type because I just want to use this as an example. And now we're going to double click right here to bring up the layer styles and we're going to click on bevel and emboss. Inside of bevel and emboss we want an inner bevel. We want to use a technique chisel hard. The depth is 292 and the size is 18. Our angle is going to be 72 degrees. You can uncheck use global light and the altitude is 32 degrees. We're using a linear contour and our highlight is going to be the foreground color that I gave you earlier, 52949E. And our shadow color is going to be that uh, background color, which is 255155. Okay, we're going to bring up our opacity a little bit to about 60%. And we'll leave our screen at 60% as well, our highlight mode. Okay, now we're going to add an inner glow. For the blend mode we're using screen, opacity is 59. Our technique is precise. Source is edge. You can tell I just did this because everything is set up perfectly. So we've got a choke of 18%, size of 10 pixels. And we're using a double ring contour. That's going to be this one right here. Range 52%, jitter 0, and now we're going to add our pattern. Make sure it's the one I just made and it's not. So this is the one I just made. So we're going to be using that one at 100%. These layer effects just gave this text a little bit more dimension. So if we just added the pattern, it would have looked like that. Still beautiful, uh, still a, a, a nice pattern. But adding a little glow and beveling did give it a little bit of depth. So this was the last of our tutorials using the glitter base. But I do have some more tutorials coming up using the uh, glass filters. These are all going to be very nice, shimmery, luxurious textures. So make sure to come back and check those out as well. To learn more about working with patterns inside of Photoshop, Watch one or both of the videos up on the screen right now and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, thanks for watching.